Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going today going to take a look at Ethereum. I am very, very, very excited to, uh, to bring you today's video. My name is Coach Mike. Like I said, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to go over the Ethereum chart for a, li uh, for a little bit and I'm going to show you a couple of key levels. Uh, which I will click quickly show here why uh, why these are key levels and how am I looking to trade it so you can get a little bit inside my head see what it's all about uh, how I read the markets and um, of course no financial advice but mainly meant to educate you and um, I have been covering uh, Bitcoin for the for the past few days in in previous videos. So today I'm gonna I'm gonna make a little bit of a change and take a look at Ethereum. So um, what are we looking at it Ethereum? Uh, oh, by the way, before I forget, if you like our content and everything, uh, just uh, please leave a like and a subscribe. Uh, would be really 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 appreciated and. Um, yeah, uh, you know, it doesn't cost you anything, doesn't doesn't take any extra effort or whatsoever. So uh, why not just hit that bell, uh, like, subscribe button and the thumbs up button. And um, yeah, I would be really happy. Um, so <clears throat> anyway, let's go to the charts. Um, the thing is, when approaching a chart, um, I think what, what I really want to mention here is uh, it, it, you can do... If you are knowledgeable about technical analysis and you know a lot about a uh, lot about technical analysis, uh, that that's absolutely great. You can you can you can draw out your lines. You can use all kinds of different tools. But one must realize that a chart, you know, every technical analysis tool that you might know, even if it's even if it's like more basic knowledge, like pattern trading, like head and shoulders, wedges, triangles, etc., they're all built by what the chart is giving you and um, if you're unable to read that correctly then it is it is unlikely that you will be successful in doing accurate technical analysis uh, and thus you know you have you have less chance of winning your trades <clears throat> so that, that, that is what i want to highlight on ethereum specifically so I have the following key levels on, which equal a monthly level, uh, another key level, and a weekly level. And I will, I will tell you in a second as to why I think these are levels, or these are, these are the levels that I'm personally looking at. And the big question is obviously, is it, has Ethereum bottomed out? Uh, do we have room for the upside do, or are we going to dump back down way, 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 way lower? So here's the thing. I'm looking at the chart as follows. Uh, if you just literally look at the bear chart, I'm going to put this on log scale so you can see it a little bit better. Um, you can see that, th that this chart is basically being divided into sections, right? So that is what trading ultimately for me is. It's, it's all about dissecting the chart in the most creative. Uh, it's like a puzzle. It's a, for me, trading is a game. You know, it's a, it's not necessarily about making huge profits, but it's really about being able to to see and to to dissect this chart into bit little bits and pieces of information that then in turn I can tie them up together and uh, come up with a plan on on how am I going to use that information. Um, and, to, you know, so that is basically what I usually like to do uh, when, when doing my technical analysis, so to speak. So the first thing that catches my eye over here is I would say you, we have this region of price action, which was basically not necessarily a strong trend. Uh, it was an uptrend, you know, but I wouldn't class it as particularly strong uptrend. However, it, I would class it more as a sideways sideways uh, piece of price action um, naturally when you move out of such a such a piece of price action then when you get back to it it it, it should offer support if it doesn't or at the very least a little bit of a bounce 
that that is basically where you where you can start constructing your chart from and um once you then in turn are able to identify certain horizontal uh, levels um you basically get the following levels uh more importantly i would say this one at the moment does not matter so much this one also does not matter that much this one even also doesn't matter that much and you can see that these are targets really 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 far away and i guess the bottom line what i want to bring with this video is um know what you're trading know what you're looking at know what kind of a plan you're creating if you every time that price hits uh, hits uh, is, is dipping for example which is a which is a word that many many people like to use buy the dip that may be so you might be correct in buying a dip however you have to put that also in perspective because where are you going to trade that to are you going to trade that to all-time highs or are you just gonna wait until you are in profit or are you going to make an informed decision based off of your analysis so to speak um this is the one that i was looking for i picked the following three levels which i find at the moment one of the more important ones um of, 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 of the chart, uh, what we are in currently. For me, I'm a, I'm a trader that, that, that trades level to level and I, I have no interest in, in uh, aiming for these crazy high prices when the situation doesn't lend itself for that. I mean, if it happens, it happens. There's never a guarantee in trading. However, I like to put things, you know, more down to earth and giving me actual realistic information of what I can expect of price uh, or basically being prepared for what might happen you know and that, that gives me these following three levels and if you reclaim one of these levels then you can simply look for the next level that's higher up if you reclaim that level that is when you can look uh, for the level higher up above that and if it reclaims that level then you can simply look to trade it even higher um I'm not I'm not the, the person that that is all the time on the bull train or the bear train. Um for me it really doesn't matter where price is at, where price is trading. What does matter to me is can I get levels that are very well respected? And that's what I'm that's what I'm using and uh, I'm going to give you three of those right now and today today. Um so yeah, really these three levels um, and, to, you know, this puts a lot of things, I would say, in context. If you zoom in a little bit on the chart, you can see that we've put in an all time high. Then we've went to the lower part of uh, of this section of the chart. And um, ultimately, we had a really, 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 really big bounce from there, uh, bringing us defining a monthly resistance level which is literally 64% from here. So 64%, you know, do you really need to trade all time highs? I'm happy with 64%, for example, right? Um, so that is, for example, one of the things that I'm going to trade for myself. Um, this weekly level nonetheless is really, really important as well, because we have, we, you know, we, we first front run the level, then we had this 64% bounce, giving us a, a, basically a resistance level, defining that one. And then we had a retrace once again, swing filtering this level, and then basically now attempting to make our way back up again. Um, an intermediate level somewhere in the middle of, of this of this uh, purple level and this yellow level we have another key level which i uh, you know class as, as fairly important and you can see that this level is very well respected as well you can see that it started from here it got respected once then the top level got respected got rejected got respected again got rejected got respected again then we made our way back down to this key level we wicked a little bit through it nonetheless we had another bounce of <clears throat> about of about 15 percent then we broke through this key level we back tested this key, that key level as resistance we 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 went down further from there then we back tested that level again confirming that that support at that time is now flipped into resistance making it a really valid level 
only to for us to then drop further down taking out this low getting on into this yellow weekly level and from there on out we are now basically back in the middle of i would say this region so one way you could trade this is simply looking for the range levels to be respected short the highs long the lows for example and again i must must mention this is absolutely not financial advice so any any type of decision making that that you do based off of my opinions that i'm giving out here uh, are fully your own responsibility uh, nonetheless i do think it's educational uh, to to you know explain my thoughts behind uh, these kind of levels so that brings me back to the to the puzzle of you know solving solving this uh puzzle basically and um this gives me literally three levels that you can trade from so and 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 this is where i might be interested in trading from these levels for example so you know swing failure patterning these lows right gave me a long opportunity which i am currently in um then we are now basically making our way up uh, to, to the middle of this entire section, so to speak. And, it, you know, it's very well possible that we are now going to search for the, uh, to see if this level is still resistance. And that is where I'm going to look uh, to, to make my next trading decision. Anywhere here in between in the middle is for me not necessarily a very relevant level in terms of uh, where, where I'm really interested to, you know, to enter a new position, so to speak. Uh, it is a take profit level, so I have taken profits uh, over here, but uh, I'm not really that much interested, for example, in, in, in entering a new trade because as a trader, the part of the game is also to only find the best trading opportunities possible. And, uh, you know, the, the, I deem these one uh, as, as the levels that I uh, that are the most respected. So. I more or less expect either something like this to happen and can this happen yes of course it can happen definitely and that is why you take profits on trades right um you know even you know if i would have taken profits here and then simply get stopped out it would still be a winning trade no problem and i will move on to the next trading idea that i have you know if should we break this level which i already have planned out and i already know what i'm gonna do when this level is gonna break for example to the downside however at the moment there's really no point in even speculating about whether that's gonna happen or not because all that you need to know or at least what's important for me to know is that this not did not happen right so the level is still valid the le we are still above this yellow level and uh, we are below this key level those are the levels that I'm going to make my trading decisions uh, based on, uh, you know. And then if we manage to, for example, break above this key level, that is the moment where the third key level, which is that level over here, this purple level, is going to come into play for me. Um, in that way, I'm going to keep it really, really simple. And um, it ultimately really boils down to me um, thinking that we are simply being in a range and that is what I will trade uh, at the moment so I kind of expect something along the lines of this maybe get a rejection then flip the key level and then making our way to the top of the range or alternatively we basically move straight up uh, into the into this level and then you know get basically a rotation back down to the low uh, to this key level again or alternatively we maybe we maybe break the complete level um <laughs> but that is also fine for me because although it's not part of my trading of this current trading idea if that happens then i can simply look for the level that is above that level and execute the plan that i already have laid out already and i can start executing that kind of plan until until these levels are not being reclaimed or if this level is not lost it is absolutely no use to utilize one of these plans that i basically have on my shelf uh, because it's simply not relevant and at the moment it is nothing more but speculation so um 
yeah, that ke- that keeps things really a lot for me in perspective. And uh, I thought it was uh, helpful to give you a little bit uh, my view uh, on, on what I'm looking at at the moment. And uh, hopefully this was uh, educational for you of, of how I, you know, dissect the chart a little bit and how um, it makes sense to not look, you know, not act based off a of feeling, but actually off of technical levels. Um, so conclusion of this analysis really is we are simply in a sideways range. We have swing failure pattern this low, uh, hit a key level. Now I'm simply looking for the next key level. If we reclaim that level, I'm looking for the level above that. If we get rejected from that, then I will be simply looking for this key level again. And if we lose that level, then I will be simply looking for this yellow level again to come into play. If we if we start trading outside of any of these levels, then I will look for the level that I have mapped out above that or beneath that. Simple as that. Um, gives me no stress. The plan is ready. And that is how I'm looking to trade Ethereum onwards. Hope you found this uh, helpful. Hope you find this useful. I hope that you learned something. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe and give us a follow on Twitter. And uh, with uh, having that said, I would say enjoy your day and see you in the next video. Bye bye.